So you heard these songs growing up as a kid? Uh huh. Yeah, all of them. There were songs of my uncles and my aunts and my grandfather sang, you know, at family gatherings, just like, you know, any family does in Mexico. Whenever there's a family gathering, they're singing. Everyone sings whether they can sing or not, you know. Fortunately, most everyone in my family can sing. Everything that I've done has been from my background. It's been um, music that was literally in the living room when I was growing up. Pirates of Penzance was in the living room when I was growing up. Uh, Ella Fitzgerald was in the living room when I was growing up. So was Frank Sinatra. So all the Nelson Riddle stuff that I got just kind of came in with, you know, with the milk and bread. And <clears throat> so was the Mexican music. And rock and roll was on the radio. And so was country music. So. My sister was a big country music fan. She used to sit there with the guitar and play Hank Williams songs until we thought we were all going to throw up. But then we were glad she did because they're great songs, you know. And my grandmother was an opera fan. And it just, it was there. So whenever I want to sing something, all I have to do is kind of close my eyes and imagine the living room in about 1958. And whatever was lying on the couch or under the rug is there. And it's fine, you know. It's, it, it, it freed me from having to, to worry about keeping up with the latest trend in music because... I don't have to worry about it, you know. There's an infinite resource there for me to refine and to explore whenever I want to. Sol redondo y colorado. Why did you decide to sing for this in concert against AIDS? I don't know. I'm, you know, a part of this community and it seemed like a very good cause. I think it's been real impressive that that people have made a real attempt to to educate the public about how it is spread and what you can do to try to prevent it and also to try to get rid of the idea that there's this kind of moral baggage that comes along with the disease you know which is just ridiculous it's a disease that's contracted you know that's caused by a virus and and um, uh, I think there could have been a, a kind of a little witch hunt action going on in this country you know if people hadn't responded in such a positive manner to it and I, to me that's the most important thing it's, it's important to try to f figure out a way to, to cure it, and it's very important to help the people that are already suffering from it, you know, that they, ha feel that they should feel that they have community support and whatever financial support is, is mustered from this.